exit lag just dropped a major update and I'm about to show you the absolute best configuration to minimize your ping and maximize your gaming performance. I've got an exclusive discount link down in the description that you definitely want to check out and there's even a chance to score unlimited access. Oh, and I'm dropping a special code right now on screen. So if you're watching this fresh, grab it fast because first come first served. You need to click on my link below for try the code, else it's not work. And if you already have exit lag, click on the link for have the discount too. All right, let's dive straight into getting you set up properly. Obviously, you'll need an exit lag account to get started. The good news is they give you three days completely free to test everything out. Then you'll choose a subscription plan that fits your needs. Head over to their download page, grab the installation file, find it in your downloads folder and launch it. The installation process is super straightforward. Just click through the prompts and you're golden. No complicated configurations during setup will handle all the optimization afterwards. Once installation completes, fire up exit lag and sign in using your account credentials. The software will immediately start analyzing available routes and optimizing your connection pathways. This initial scan takes a bit of time, depending on your connection speed, so just let it do its thing. You might even see some special offers pop up during this process, so keep an eye out for those exclusive deals I mentioned earlier. After you're fully logged in, you'll land on ExitLag's main dashboard. It's got a really clean, intuitive interface that makes navigation simple. You'll notice ExitLag shows as currently disabled. Before we activate anything, we need to dial in those settings for maximum performance. Click into the settings menu. This is where we're going to make the magic happen. First setting I always enable is launch exit lag on system startup. This ensures the software boots up automatically with your computer so you never forget to activate it before gaming sessions. Right below that, enable the notification setting that alerts you whenever exit lag disconnects. Trust me, you want to know immediately if your optimization drops out mid-game. Now we're getting to the critical routing configurations. For route priority, set this to high. This tells your system to prioritize exit lags optimized pathways over standard connections. For the protocol selection, I strongly recommend starting with ICMP. In my extensive testing across different networks and locations, ICMP consistently delivers the fastest route analysis and most stable connections. However, if you experience any issues or inconsistent performance, you can absolutely switch over to UDP protocol instead. Sometimes certain ISPs handle one protocol better than the other, so don't be afraid to experiment. Enable real-time optimization. This keeps exit lag constantly analyzing and switching to the fastest available routes throughout your gaming session. Activate smart optimization as well, which uses machine learning to predict and preemptively switch routes before congestion occurs. Now here's important, disable dual routes. These settings can actually create conflicts and increase latency if configured incorrectly. All right, settings are dialed in perfectly. Now let's add your game. If you've used exit lag before and already have games installed on your PC, they'll automatically appear in your library. If not, click over to the connections tab and select optimize game. Exit lag supports an absolutely massive library of titles. Seriously, scroll through this list. They've got everything from competitive shooters to MMOs to battle royales. Whatever you're playing, it's probably here. I'm going to use Valorant for this demonstration since that's my main game. Once you select your game, you'll see all available server regions displayed. Server selection is crucial for optimization. Since I'm located in India, my closest physical server is Mumbai under the Asia region. However, so when I'm on this connection, I actually get better results connecting to Asian servers. The key lesson here is choose the server that gives you the best actual performance, not necessarily the one closest to your physical location. Your ISP infrastructure matters just as much as distance. Now click into advanced settings for your selected game. This is absolutely critical, so pay close attention. Set TCP routes to zero. Set UDP routes to four. I cannot stress enough how much testing I've done to land on these exact numbers. These values provide the perfect balance between route redundancy and connection efficiency. 
Too many routes create overhead and can actually increase latency. Too few routes leave you vulnerable to congestion without alternative pathways. Here's something that catches a lot of people. Whenever you modify any settings, always click optimize routes again. The software needs to recalculate pathways based on your new configuration. You might notice the apply routes button appears grayed out and inactive. That's because exit lag is currently switched off at the main toggle. Just flip that switch, wait for the proxy to initialize and that apply routes button will light up beautifully. Click it and you're fully optimized and ready to game. Let's explore a few other features quickly. The library section stores all your games. Diagnostics generates technical reports that exit lag support can analyze if you ever run into issues. The FPS boost section offers additional performance optimizations. I personally max out processing priority for games, disable Windows Game Bar and DVR since they eat resources, and disable core parking to keep all CPU cores active. Don't worry, none of these settings will harm your system, and if something doesn't feel right, just restart your computer and they'll reset. Multi-internet lets you leverage multiple connections simultaneously if you have them available. Traffic Shaper limits bandwidth, but honestly, I have no idea why you'd intentionally throttle your connection while gaming, so I leave this completely alone. The help section links to FAQs, live chat support, and their Discord community. Now let's jump into an actual game and test this live. I'm switching to my dedicated gaming internet connection for this demonstration. Valorant is loaded up and you can see my current ping hovering around 180 to 200 milliseconds. On this particular connection with my gaming ISP, I had to adjust exit lag to use UDP slash TCP hybrid protocol. Remember what I said earlier about different ISPs handling protocols differently? This is exactly what I meant. If ICMP isn't delivering results on your network, swap to UDP without hesitation. I'm connected to Mumbai servers right now with 40 to 50 pings showing in-game. To prove exit lag actually works and isn't just placebo, watch what happens when I completely disable it. I'm turning exit lag off right now and you should see the in-game latency start climbing immediately. There it goes, ping is increasing in real time because exit lag's optimized routing is no longer active. This is completely unscripted, happening live as we record. Now I'm re-enabling exit lag. Give it a few seconds to re-establish optimized routes and you'll watch that ping drop right back down to our baseline. And there we go, beautiful. Ping is stabilized again at our optimized levels. That's real world live testing, proving this software genuinely delivers measurable latency reduction. So there you have it, complete configuration guide to maximize exit lag's performance for your gaming. If this helped you out, smash that like button and subscribe for more optimization guides and gaming content. Use that discount link in the description to grab your exit lag subscription with special pricing. Quick disclaimer, before we wrap up, this video isn't sponsored by exit lag or anyone else. I'm creating this content because the software legitimately works and I want to help you guys reduce lag and improve your competitive performance. If you want me to create optimization guides for other games beyond Valorant, drop suggestions in the comments below. I'm happy to download whatever you're playing and test out the best settings specifically for that title. Alright, catch you in the next one.